Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video of Bleach Immortal Soul over here on the channel. Now, we're returning once again to doing videos. Uh, unfortunately, I have been through the fucking ringer over the last 10 days. Um, I guess more like 12, 13 days now. Um, I'm putting this up on Monday, I'm recording this closer to the 24th. Just had a nice birthday. Um, but for Immortal Soul, they have these timed banners, so naturally I have to kind of hop in here and do my pulls a little bit early. Um, they released Armored Yoroichi today, and she is a very good character. She's very similar to how the OG Kenpachi works. Very, like, damage-focused, very single target. Um, a very high DPS unit. However, for her character, I'm missing some of her bonds. And also, if I was trying to invest in her, I would need to try and go straight for 5-star. And the next character that drops in this game is going to be Don Guy Ichigo. And so I didn't really find it too worth it to go for her up to four star to get her on my main team, since Don Guy Ichigo is going to be an incredible force on my main team after that. So instead, what we're going to do today is grab one copy of her at two star to get her initiative. Because uh, this game, I'm just going to start pulling now. Uh, but this game is one where collection is very important, because the more characters you have inside the game, the higher your initiative is, and so it allows you to get through Arena a lot better, as well as certain stages, you need like 9999 initiative to try and beat, because you want to go first inside the turn. Because initiative is what decides whether you're going first or second for the most part. Um, so we're just going to keep on tossing in multis. We may usually just get five shards of a character through this, so once we get to about... Five pulls here and have 25 shards. I can just look at the other side. Um, but it should be going pretty well. Honestly, she's a character that a lot of people on my server are putting on their main team. And for a good reason. Um, she's a very high DPS, like single target character, which a lot of people kind of need right now. Um, Grim is really good, but he's not quite on that tier. So definitely pretty goddamn worth it. I'll take that love. I'm one shard away from Yoruichi, which means I'll get that right here. And there we go. I also do my one free single. Um, but I'll be saving for Don Guy Ichigo to put him on main team and actually do a proper showcase next. I just wanted to make sure I got a copy of her for that initiative and to be able to use her. So let's go ahead and combine. All right. Now, I, I feel like we haven't had a good armored Yoroichi since, like, Red Armored Yoroichi back in Bleach Brave Souls way back in the day. Honestly, her bonds are kind of hard to get. Uh, Ishin Urahara... Um, let me actually move myself out of the way. Ishin Urahara and the Hogyoku Aizen are all, like, very heavy investment units. And especially this Aizen, if you didn't have him on your main team or focus on him on his original banner, you're going to have a lot of trouble trying to run her, because her bonds really need that. Um, the HP will definitely help a lot, but for her, I'm just gonna max her out right now, give her all of this, and then I'll show you guys the initiative that I'm talking about that kind of makes it so that you want to pick up as many characters as possible. Um, I plan on making a proper, like, video talking about what to do when you start this game, because I feel like a lot of people are going to be starting this game as of the next couple of banners, for the most part. Um... I've been talking to some people that are starting it. I don't know if a lot of people are even picking this game up, considering Ultra Impact is kind of that similar thing. Uh, but here inside Archive, you can see my initiative is 9799. And so every character you unlock allows you to get higher initiative each time. And so because she's currently at Grey and she's a stranger, she gives zero team initiative to everyone else. So you want to kind of give her as much of th these items as you can, Try and max her out as far as you can to go ahead and get your initiative maxed out as far as you possibly can get. Uh, I'm trying to get to 10k right now. 10k is like the barrier at the moment for a lot of people. Um, unfortunately, you can't get to purple unless these two characters release. And if they're under development, it means that you just can't get it whatsoever. Um, but even so, I'm at 9836. So much, much better. Uh, I would like to showcase her... Um, where can I do that? I guess, okay, let's let's manually challenge one of these quests here. 
And I'm gonna toss her on my main team to see her skill. So I'd like to see how she ends up working. Uh, let's toss her in the back instead. I feel like if I don't, she's just gonna get bodied in the first turn. Um, but single target characters, there's not a lot of like really high DPS ones that people have been shooting for. So she's one of those standouts that a lot of people are investing in for sure. Here, pop this off. I want to get her skill, but I don't think I'll be able to at all with this kind of situation. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's so hard to showcase on this game. Uh, I'm going to give it one more try. We'll do the next purple one. If she doesn't even have like any skill charge whatsoever, I'll just jump to when I'm able to get one of her skills off to show off the animation. Yeah, she's going to get none here. Okay, I'm going to skip forward to after I get through most of this game mode and try and get some of her skill ready. So see you guys in one moment, I suppose. Okay, this will actually help a lot. Recover rage when ally is defeated, recovers rage when enemy is defeated. Let's go ahead and upgrade that a couple of times. I feel like that'll definitely contribute at least a little bit to her being able to get her skills a little bit better. And let's go try it out. Okay, so in this next battle, I should be able to use her skill here, and it should be a hell of a lot better. So let's go ahead and hop on in and see how it goes. Now, I will tell you, she is single target, so she's only going to kill one person, if even that. Um, But a lot of characters inside this game, you really need them to be at 4-star to be able to carry you through a lot of quests. But here, uh, let's slow it down to 1 times and see what her animation is like. Yep, just a whole lot of kicks. Sounds about right. Yeah, so she's gonna be... I think especially for squad boss, she's gonna be one of those characters a lot of people are gonna go for. Um, Don Guy is more of like a row targeting character, but even so, he's going to be someone who dispels a lot of buffs, and it's gonna be worth a lot for me especially, because I fight a lot of Ukiora V2s, um, which is this character, which has a shield by default. So definitely Don Guy is a character I want to focus on. Um, the reason I know about the schedule in the first place, uh, Yoroichi is the character right before Don Guy on the timeline for the events that come out. I'll be doing a proper video soon showing off like this whole event calendar. If you go to the Reddit for BIS leaks, which is Bleach Immortal Soul leaks, uh, you'll be able to find that full list. But I do want to do an official video soon talking about everything to look at to be able to plan for playing this game. Um, but here is the character I care about the most going forward. Um, so here, Ichigo recovers 300 rage and gains 25% crit chance for two rounds any time he attacks an enemy. Uh, so definitely very, very powerful. Uh, deals damage to an enemy column plus 25% damage to the targets that are above 50% HP. If any of the targets that are, are affected by debuffs this attack will deal 30% increased crit damage, and then after Weapon Awakens, damage uh, is greatly increased and naturally does even more damage to debuff targets. And then he has an increased damage rate, and at the beginning of an ally round, for each enemy as affected by a debuff, he gains 10% crit chance until the end of the round. And so, because my team focuses on like heavy bleed, as well as trying to get people burned and then on top of that trying to stun them with especially my Yamamoto. I think that this Don guy is a character that stacks really really well with my team and because of the anti-debuff I actually thought that it was anti-buff for part of this that would counter the Oak V2 I am actually kind of wrong. Um, he's gonna have the increased crit chance and stuff like that which works alongside this Aizen I just feel as if he's a character that will fit really well on my team. And honestly, I just want to have an OP Don guy. You know, inside, like, Bleach Brave Souls, we haven't had a really good Don guy since, like, Mugetsu for 4th Anniversary. So this year, we might be getting something cool. Um, but here, I actually want to change my character to the new Yoruichi. He's quite cool. Um, and that's pretty much all I wanted to do for today. Honestly, I'm not kind of doing too much in this game, I've just kind of been relaxing, doing my dailies each day. Uh, but Don Guy should be coming up as of, I think, 30 days from now, and so I have a little bit more time to save up. I currently have enough shards to get him to 4-star by default, 
I think I would need another 80 to get him up to 5 star. Um, let's actually look at the amount of shards I need to get the Aizen to 5 star. 150. No, I would need another 150 to get him to 5 star. That is heavier in terms of investment, but we'll see. For now, I'm just trying to like free to play my way, hopefully to as many characters as I can and trying to keep competitive inside the game. Honestly, it's been fun. Uh, just kind of a very chill game, frankly. I don't even want to play like My Hero anymore with all the controversies and how much effort it takes to do dailies. So I've just kind of been chilling with this for my strep throat time. Uh, but I'll probably be back very soon to do an official like starter guide as well as what to do when you start this game. So forward to that. I'll see you guys on the next one. Just wanted to have some fun today. See you guys later, take it easy, and bye for now.